What's it all about, stars? Some people believe that Kate wanted her fans to worry about her, but also be primed to defend anything she did that was out of the ordinary, like not being visible for months. Health issues can have a huge impact on your readiness to deal with photos and the press and the usual business. But preventative chemo and cancer that had been present isn't quite what we would think of as, say, the number of cancers that Sarah Ferguson has had, which is three, and she never stopped working, never stopped traveling. British taxpayers, global citizens, and critics have pointed out Kate Middleton's questionable wigs, wiglets, hair extensions, hair pieces, band-aids on the fingers, and gestures holding her stomach over the years with concern and bafflement. We on social media have gone through a lot of being concerned and having questions about the information and images we've been presented versus what the explanations given have been. But all the while, we have also suffered from harassment and ugly comments from Kensington Palace supported bots and bot farms. I understand now it's not Russian bots. It may be Pakistani bots and bot farms. And these bots insisted that we were all horrible, judgmental people as she maybe just played with her kids and got hurt on a trampoline or maybe she was pregnant again or maybe she was having good days and bad days. But the good days all coincide with high-ticket, high-end events, not with serving the British everyman at retirement centers, libraries, hospitals, and veterans' celebrations. But hear this. Perhaps Kate wanted a We Love Megan type groundswell of support. She didn't quite get that, right? She was an appendage, an accessory for William, the king in waiting. But on her own, what did Kate do or say? to inspire such we love Megan enthusiasm and affection. To actually get that groundswell of support, you might need to do more of what Megan continues to do, right? There was and there is no precise disclosure of what has been going on with Kate Middleton since December 28th, 2023. Instead, we have gotten vigorous defenses of her privacy and how dare we have a thought or an opinion when we have spent decades having the news and photos about the British royal family shoved down our American gullets. But yet somehow we are to be marketed to, but not have our opinions tolerated, embraced, or even answered with legitimate information. There is the sense that Kate's plight has enhanced William's image as a loving husband-father partner. Maybe, but not her image. Maybe her hiking up the skirt on her way out of her vehicle at the South Korean state visit was an expression of frustration and a demand for all eyes on her attention. And she certainly got that from King Charles. She certainly stood out, way out in those pictures, as you are cautioned when you're not the main character or star in a scene, you're not supposed to wear black, red, or white. Everyone else was in shades of gray but not Kate. We see you, girl, and we support you, 
but we still have questions. For example, stars, some folks thought the change of shirt between the team Great Britain Olympics video and a Kensington Palace Instagram highlight, they thought it was a coincidence, a strange one. But could it have been a troll trolling for engagement to get people whipped up and posting and talking? I've certainly fallen victim to that. Could it just be that they film and photograph those photos and videos in one big photo shoot just to dole out the pics piecemeal throughout the months and years and articles so they don't have to set it all up with a wardrobe rack more than once? Or is it simply that (laughs) the Kensington Palace interns, Colin, Ewan, Ian, are all sitting around just using Photoshop, AI, Illustrator, the whole Adobe suite, chat GPT, etc. Mid-journey to take an old photo and make it new again. Right? Releasing old photos to make it look like Kate and William are working when actually they're on vacation again. Just like back in 2020 when everyone was supposed to stay home and they were everywhere. It feels a little underhanded, a little tricky, duplicitous. Why mislead the British public and us like this? Can somebody in Kensington Palace break the NDA and tell us what is actually going on? We're getting on to a year since whatever happened December 28th, 2023, and we want to know if this is all BS I certainly would love to just leave it all alone and not think about it and not worry about Kate. If it's all fine. But I don't know. You know, billionaires with multiple mansions and palaces that are supposed to be visible keep up appearances for the royal family since they've been gifted with the status of working royals, unlike some of the other royals who'd like to be working royals. But yet somehow, between all the mansions and millions, the work is not getting done. The only thing that seems to roust Kate and William out of their indolence is when (laughs) Prince Harry and Princess Meghan get to work and make appearances in New York, in Africa, all around the world. Then all of a sudden, oh, hurry up, get a cancer patient over here. Chop, chop. Let's take a picture. Nope. No questions. We're not making any kind of commentary. We just need a picture real quick for social media. Notice these photos are being released to social media, not to legitimate press and photo agencies. Why? Probably because they aren't authentic. Remember that? Remember that notice back when the Mother's Day photo that had been doctored allegedly got taken down because it wasn't, there was no real reference photo. It was so extreme in its collage and other enhancements. You know, we're used to the idea that the royal family is very wealthy, but the level of Photoshop and AI going on with these images from the whales is makes it hard to tell what's real, what's current, what's old, what's live, what's Memorex. When you look at these two photos in comparison, William's collar is sitting exactly in the same shape and position in each of the photos. Kate's hair is also falling in the same way. It just looks like they put a little key frame around her shirt, made a layer, added a new shirt, compressed the image, et voila. English magic ripe for truth and reconciliation. When this all plays out, we all look back at these images like some of the other strange ones and really, I think, have more insight about what's going on. All these images, videos, and messages 
have been weirdly modified and AI generated this year. Maybe for the first time, maybe just more than ever before. This goes way beyond a bit of flattering Photoshop enhancement, colorizing, erasing shadows, or double chins. It feels like trust has been broken. And once that happens for any public persona, it's very hard to get it back. The royals have made a crucial error. The old danger for them has long been becoming irrelevant. Hence the old Queen Elizabeth strategy of always being out there and being seen. This lot don't want to do that. I think people now see through the perfect couple, perfect family facade, and that was always a key pillar of their place in the British people's affections. The royal family was supposed to be a model of a perfect family unit. This was always especially difficult for them to present after the intrusion of tabloid newspapers and television in the 80s and 90s. But in 2024, employing this level of fakery is intensely damaging. And not just for the family, but also to Britain's reputation internationally. It's not just the laziness, right? For the hundreds of millions, half a billion, if current estimates are right, that they still siphon annually from the UK taxpayers, plus the untold billions they've stashed away through the centuries. You'd think they'd have no problem doing the bare minimum of at least half the work that Queen Elizabeth II put in being, being seen so that the peasants wouldn't turn on them. It seems like everything they put out image-wise is either photoshopped or AI-generated. And that has to be why they no longer go through the press when releasing images, because then they can be flagged as altered, like when Getty flagged their photos and the cancer video as altered. So they instead release them through their social media. That way they can't be claimed to be altered since other sources are taking it from their social media, where they can freely alter, Photoshop, AI generate, whatever they post on there, right? Kate could have three arms and a beak, and that would be fine because it's their social media. It's not a news agency or a newspaper. At this point, they're not even trying to hide the AI and the Photoshopping that's being executed. And it's honestly insulting to everyone's intelligence. How many times are we going to see that striped Breton top? That white and black or navy blue striped sweater. Ugh. It's just... It's just one thing after the other, right? AI just loves to keep on putting Kate in that striped top. And... At this stage, that striped top is like the harbinger of fakery. Oh, this again. <laughs> Could it be that she has a closet full of striped Breton shirts or sweaters or tops? One AI photo fail after the next. Compare the area around Kate's shoulder against Williams in both photos. Notice the lack of a shadow or creases in the top one. And she's seemingly without neck in one of them, and much shorter, right? The lower picture, she's shorter. And that striped sweater, I mean, at this point, that's going to be my Halloween costume. It'll be my Kate Middleton earnest video Halloween costume in the Breton top. It's so weird because it's just so obvious. It just seems to be coming from a dark and disturbed place that disrespects the public's intellect. What could compel them to do it and do it this sloppily? I just get the feeling that nothing is as it seems with them. Is Kate really all right? Is she really walking around? Is it really her? What happened to Concha Callea saying that Things were serious and Kate was going to have another surgery in September. 
you know, do they, is this marriage dissolving? Are they separated? Can they just not stand to be in a photo or short video together? And is that why there's a body double for Kate? Or why it appears that William is being photoshopped or illustrated into images where all the edges are like fuzzy with a glow and it just looks like there's been a little cutout. <laughs> He's stuck in there. Like it, it doesn't look like a real photo, right? Somebody is experimenting and it's just not sitting well with a lot of us. This stuff is exactly what made people think that the situation was far more troubling than sim a simple health issue, right? All adults have colorectal screening, cancer, skin cancer, all that. No big deal, right? Look at Sarah Ferguson, three cancers in. She not slowing down. She glamorous. She going to film festival festival. She doing it. Look at King Charles. He everywhere, shaking hands, getting hugged, you know, not slowing down. But what is it that has given us so little access to Kate Middleton? I'd love to know your thoughts, stars.